Hi friends, how's it going? Did you miss me? I know it's been a while since I've been on this channel. I took a bit of a long break. The whole world took a break and I wasn't sure if I even wanted to continue this channel, but I do. You might be wondering, what the heck? I thought this was a writer's channel. Victoria, I thought you were supposed to be telling us stories. Well, I'm still doing that. Just in a slightly different way. If you've been with me for a while or you were with me when I was more active, then you know that I published Lullaby of the Lilitu in 2019 and I have been working on its sequel since around 2020. Because of a lot of things that have happened, there have been quite a few personal losses. I put the book down for a very long time and have struggled to pick it back up. I go back to it every now and then, and I am determined to finish it before, like, in a shorter time than it took me to finish Lullaby of the Lilitu, but it is taking me some time. On top of that, like I said, there have been personal things, and there's just been a lot of heaviness in the world, a lot of stress. And one of my favorite ways to relieve stress is to play The Sims. I've been playing The Sims since I was 10 years old, and it's really been one of my main stress relievers. It's been one of the main things I do for fun when I'm not doing things like sewing or art or creating, when I want to create in a simpler way, I guess. So that's what I'm doing here. I loved writing Lullaby of the Lilith 2, and I love writing, I truly do, but it gives me a headache a lot. And at the same time, I still want to tell these stories. So this is a playthrough of a Lullaby of the Lilith 2 fanfic. I know, I made my own fanfic. It's a little ridiculous, but I do hope you enjoy it. I put a lot of effort and time into creating this for you, and down the line, hopefully you will have some input and you'll be able to participate in how the story plays out. It is not a direct copy of what's in the book, so you can still read the book and watch watch these things either one after the other or at completely different times and enjoy both stories separately. There will be things like similar characters and I may mention things that happen in the book but I'm going to try to keep spoilers to a minimum so those of you who are interested can still go pick up Lullaby of the Lilithu and Scourge of the Lilithu when it's ready for you hopefully next year. So that's all. I just wanted to say that I am always going to be creating stories and I am always so grateful to be able to share those stories with you in whatever format they take. I hope you enjoy this journey with our main character, Kane. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my Land of the Lilith 2 Let's Play. This isn't my first attempt at doing episode 1, but I hope it is my last. So, hi, I'm Victoria Wilder. Um, as you probably know from whatever platform you're watching this video on. And I am the author of Lullaby of the Lilith 2. I have been working on the sequel to Lullaby of the Lilith 2, Scourge of the Lilith 2, for quite a while now, for about two years, and it has been a difficult process. And something I like to do to help deal with stress, to help deal with, um, you know, if I've been really busy and I just want to take a few days to decompress, you know, some people might drink, some people might go out and party and dance and blow off steam that way, some people do like fighting, I play The Sims. Um, and so I, a, lo a long time ago I made sort of characters based off of Lullaby of the Lilith 2 before the novel was finished. I've updated those characters and I've decided to do this playthrough, that's what we're all here for. So essentially, it is 
uh, my own fanfic. It isn't a direct copy of the novel, and even if it were meant to be directly related to the novel, it would, I guess, be incidents pre-novel, because the main character of Lullaby of the Lilla 2, um, her sim version is a toddler here, and she lives with her parents in this game, and Cain has not met uh, his family members yet. So, of course, in the novel, he's known each of them for various amounts of times, hundreds of years, some of them, and here, it's all modern, so he hasn't met any of them yet. And um, he's on a mission to create his vampire family and to essentially kind of rule the world. Cain wants to be loved and beloved by everyone he meets. Um, he wants to he wants to essentially walk around as as a beloved god who can do what he pleases and drink who he wishes. So we have Cain here and he lives with his servant Malachi. Malachi is a sim servant that I made for a different save. Um, so he's not a part of the actual Lullaby of the Lulu 2 story. So we're already off script there. And um, let's read Kane's story. Forgive me also if you hear any extra noises. I will try to clean it up as best as I can, but I do live in a city. So. Cain plans to build a powerful empire. Not only does he want to create the perfect vampire family, but he craves the hearts and minds of everyone he comes into contact with. He loves to be worshipped. Cain wants to take over the world, in a sense. So, like I said, he wants to rule the world. He wants power, he wants to be beloved, he wants fame, he wants it all. Um, but he also especially wants to build up his vampire family. So we're going to, we have versions of the characters from the book and that's going to become his family. Um, so we do have a version of Victor who is going to be the first person that he meets. Their names are different, but it's a sim version of Victor. Um, and then Tabitha and then Yuri and then Mia, all of those before he even gets to uh, Rio's sim version and her family. Um, by then she could be a toddler, I mean a child, she's already a toddler, she could be a child, she could be a teenager, depends on how long it takes us to get through all that. Um, but there are some other characters and I do have a character introduction um, video coming for you, but um, let's go ahead and just see who we have in Forgotten Hollow. So Malachi is married um, and his wife lives nearby. Her name is Leia and they have a son, Jax. They also have a daughter, but she lives in, uh, she lives elsewhere in Windenburg um, and we'll get to her later. Then we have the Messer family. So like I said, Malachi is, his. he and his whole family were made for another save. Um, and then I plugged them in here because he was specifically meant to be a, a, a house servant um, for an unsavory character. So I thought, you know, for a vampire, he's already kind of creepy. It works. The Messer family, their last name isn't Messer in uh, the novel. Um, but members of the family are presented. There's actually a brother who would be here, but I just did not want to add him. Um, sorry, I just wanted the two daughters. So we have Anna in the novel, and she is actually the one who serves Cain in his house the way Malachi is doing now. Um, but she's, she's a young adult in the novel, or an adult, whatever, um, and this Sim is still a young teenager, so she's not yet eligible, I think. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to take her as a teen, because in story, that is actually what happened, like when, or pre-story, when you read Love by the Lilla 2, she's an adult, um, but pre-story, she's been there since she was a teenager. Um, and then her sister, Ava, Aveline, is also mentioned in the novel. Their parents are not mentioned. Jane and uh, Isaiah are the names they have here. I never gave them any names in the novel. Um, I don't think they're ever actually mentioned. It's just the two sisters and their brother who I haven't made. Um, it's not too late to make him, but I don't think I will. I think I will just have 
if I use a character in his position, and I might, I'm, I'm considering it for this space, um, or a tavern, we'll see. Um, but it was just those three siblings and no parents. And then, of course, we have Vicar, Vicar St. Pierre. Um, they don't have specific known last names. Um, I do think Victor has a last name in his character bio that I have. I just haven't looked at it in literal years. Um, and they all use Cayenne's um, cover name, essentially. So as immortal beings, they may go through a few different identities as a family. So they all use that last name during whatever time period it is. Um, and I think it's Sylvain in the novel, which is why Kane's last name here is Silver. Um, but I can't remember Vickers. Anyway, Vicar St. Pierre. Let's see his story. Vicar believes in nothing more than he does true love. He wants to find his soulmate and start a beautiful family with her. So that's all Vicar wants. He just wants love. He's romantic, he's stoic, and he's charming, which I think is Victor very well when you can only use three um, three traits. So he is fantastic. And then Kyan is a genius, a snob, and hot-headed. I believe that is a snob. Yes. And hot-headed. He is also a global superstar. So he's already pretty famous and he does want to build his vampire family. Um, so you can't make you can make religion but you can't make a religion around a specific sim. Um, but you can have global superstars who are treated like, you know, people faint when they see them, people want to give them stuff all the time. Um, so that's Kyan. That's kind of his situation. So I hope you enjoy this journey with me. Um, thank you for joining me on this first episode. And uh, let's go ahead and... Just see what Kain, what Kane is up to today. Oh, he's sleeping. Well, that's boring. But since we're here, why don't we take a look at um? Sorry, babe. Why don't we take a look at the manor? So. Live Saint Manor is where the family lives in the novel. I have made a version of it that um gets the job done, but it is not a direct rep representation of what I actually visualize when I see uh, Live Say Manor in my head. But let's go ahead and take a look in a book at Live Say Manor. So it is winter. This is the back. Um, and the novel is actually set in the winter. So for some reason, I guess my brain was like, we need to do it all in the winter. So this is the manor, or I guess castle, or whatever you want to call it, where we may. Welcome to our manor. Oh, look at that. So you walk in, and there's this grand staircase. But before we go there, you can walk over to the side here. We have a couple of random curtains, because no windows, but um, aesthetic. We have our lovely dinner table, which is, I believe, just enough seats for the family that he wants to have. Um, he may add more, though. We have this little kitchen. Yeah, there are lots of trees coming in through... Um, the walls. We're just going to pretend those aren't there, of course. You can barely see them when you're actually, when you know, I'm playing. Um, but yeah, that's our little kitchen. This room back here is Malachi's room. Oops, just get in there. So this is Malachi's room. Yeah, nothing too crazy little desk so he can write letters to his wife if he needs to um, or do any sort of correspondence. A kind of hang in there bear, you know, keep him motivated. Some art on the wall. 
Um, and then we have this little room back here, which all there is in this room is this boxing uh, thingy and a light. A little boxing thing. Um, just because they were actually supposed to have more of a gym and I'm not great with building. So then we have under the stairs. So there is the audio, the music playing. This is the dance room where Mia dances, mostly Mia, and there's also piano in here for fun. Um, so you walk in, you see those pointless curtains, then you go over here into this little hall space, and there's a table there for decor, some art, and one of the bathrooms. Basic bathroom, nothing super special, just for guests. And then you can come into this hallway, follow it, follow it, and look, you're in the living room. Hey, Malachi is hanging out in here. What's up, Malachi? We have an organ in here, a nice little fireplace for chilling. Um, that's pretty much it there. And then, let's see, what's back here past the living room? Oh, look, a library. We've also found Malachi once more on his phone, slacking off on his job. That's okay. Kane's asleep. He doesn't need much. He just needs blood. And this little space, cute, cute, is a little meditation and m massage room. So, nothing too fancy. I do intend to fill this space up with paintings and pictures. Uh, um, so, up the stairs, you come up to another fireplace, some art. I just wanted to put more things on the wall that were cut, was kind of shaped like um, windows, because they don't have actual windows. So, then we have this door. You go into this door, there's a door behind it, and that's where we find Kane doing his little sleep thing. Um, oh, but it's a hallway, so you go to this side, and there's this little room with a chair in it, and a bed, and some presents by the bed, and a painting that Kane did himself. And then we go down the hall this way. Oh, there's a grandfather clock, because why not? And there's another bed, and some clothing on the wall. And not much else. Again, I do want to fill this stuff up with pictures of the family, paintings they create, and things like that. Um, if anyone goes completely psychotic and rips a heart out, you know, they could put a heart on a shelf. But I just want it to be personal. Um, so, right now it's very impersonal. So we went around past the stairs, and there's another hall just like that one. Only this room off to the side, bed, table, closet, actually has some pictures in it. I don't know why, it's more decorated. Um, this bedroom is another big one with a double side uh, two person bed. Um, closet, chair, stuff. And then over here we have another bathroom. This is where they can take their Ooh, actual showers and baths and get clean. This place is um, family only, and the rest is uh, the one downstairs is for guests. And then, <laughs> so that's it. That's the manor. And this, we may or may not use ever. It's just for the roof, basically, um, because I wanted the building to be higher than what it is. So there we have it, the manor, and just in time because Kane is awake. The next day. Let's go ahead and check in on Kane. Today, I believe, is just a normal day. Um, we have a waxing crescent moon. That's nice. I wonder how the full moon affects vampires. I just got the update, so we don't know yet. Um, but hopefully it's something fun. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hang out with Kane and Malachi for a bit. And then maybe we will go find a friend.
wasn't that nice. So Cayenne is actually going to head off to bed because it is 8 in the morning and while, you know, he doesn't necessarily need sleep, it makes sense to me that he would go to bed in a towel, I guess. And we will see you uh, probably after they wake up. So it looks like he's losing his energy. And so I'm trying to get him down the stairs. <laughs> I've seen him Look at him go. So fast. I think I will turn off that vamp- vampirically run everywhere thing, though, at some point, because it's. Uh, it should only be used when they want to use it. So let's hang out with Malachi for a bit. Kane is asleep, and he is in the basement sleeping in a coffin because I was worried that him sleeping in a bed wasn't giving him enough energy regeneration. Unfortunately, the coffin has not seen to have made a difference in his regeneration. Um, Hopefully, he survives through the night. We're going to go, we're going to, this is Malachi we're watching now. Um, He's doing a little cleaning, and then he's going to go check on the boss. So let's just take a look at him. In his coffin. Oh, that's... Okay. I've actually never been first person in a coffin before. I love making long, narrow, winding hallways. And you will see a few of them in this gameplay. Um, I don't know what it is, it just, it excites me. I love to just have a maze that you have to go through before you actually get to the thing you're you're looking for. My goal here is to see if his presence, yeah. So there's this thing where the cattle and the vampire like being together. Um, And sometimes one of them will lose energy if they're away from the other for too long, which is kind of crazy. He is deeply refreshed from sleeping in the coffin. Deep yawn. There's nothing like a dead sleep inside an eternally eternally quiet coffin. Kane feels reinvigorated for the day or night ahead. That's good. It is now nighttime, almost. It is almost evening. He's still dealing with some of the morning time stress. So we're going to let him hang out by Kane. Um, Whoa. Is he dreaming? Is this vampire dreams? Look at that. I've never seen that. I wonder if that's new. Whoa! <laughs> Vampire dreams, I love it! That's what that was, right? <laughs> he loves pajamas. Kane is ready to curl up in bed with a good book. Look at that. It's just unnecessary the amount of winding, twisting hallways I add to things. And yet I do it. I do it. Good job, Leah. You're cleaning. As you should be. I'm actually quite thirsty. So in case you missed it, Leah is Malachi's wife. They have two children, Jax and Layla. Jax lives at home with Leah. And Layla, they sound a lot alike, goes to a private school, a boarding school, um, where... Uh, that Kane owns. So. Alright, buddy. You are good. Get over here. And have a bite. I think she's fresh. And by fresh, I mean that she hasn't been bitten recently. Mm. Kane is a rhythm. And off he goes to 
fill his thirst. <laughs> On the wife of his servant, Malachi. Oh, hello, hello, friend. When did you get Wow. Vips Wabi Tabi. Tharb Thenic. Nopai. Erebra. Uh huh. Parsifa Propin. He knows. So, in case you missed it or you haven't seen the character introductions yet, or they're just not up yet. I don't know what order I'm going to do things. Um, this is Amrin Razal, and he lives in El Salvadorada, I believe. Um, and he, as you may see up there, is a king. And he is, um, that is another mod I have that allows me to have royalty in my game. And people who are treated as such. So he is the king of El in El Salvadorada. And, um... Yeah, he dropped by for a visit. So, hello, Amrin. We'll go visit them later. Wait, he didn't kill her, did he? Did he just kill her? <gasps> oh no! Oh no, that wasn't the Jim Zipsy. Oh no, he didn't. Did he just. No! No! Tell me he didn't kill her! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no. That's horrible. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. Uh. That wasn't the plan. He just was getting a little bit to drink. I didn't realize he was. Oh, that's so sad. Aw, uh, what's gonna happen to Jax? What's gonna happen to his son? You know what's really sad is I made this family for another save, a save where I have a serial killer. And in that save, Malachi killed his wife and oldest daughter, and Jax was adopted. Now where is Jax going to go? Is he going to come live here? I mean, I, I wasn't planning on having a kid here. I don't know where to put him. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what are we going to do? Yeah, the medical examiner's already here. Someone has called the cops. This person, or not the cops, Elizabeth Middleton went and called the me the medical examiner. Ma'am, we didn't give you that. We didn't give you permission for that. Oh, young lady. You know, just for that, I'm going to bite you. I hope you survive it. That's so sad. Oh, no. <laughs> Malachi. Malachi, have you even registered? It doesn't seem like he's registered it at all. Can you do anything? Oh, <gasps> Leia. Leia Vigil was a housewife, she was family oriented, and she was in need. She was a stay at home mom. She was a, a spouse, his spouse, and his neighbor, because they didn't live together. He didn't think she was that hot, but they were sweethearts. She liked all kinds of things. And didn't like all kinds of things. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh gosh! Well, I think this is probably a good place for this first episode to end. Um, we'll be back with 
the next one, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up right here.